Hello, my name is Isaac and I'm the founder and clinical director at I Am Clinic, a counseling practice devoted to the LGBTQ plus community. Sex is such an important part of our lives and our relationships, and it can take a turn for the worst in a variety of ways. There are four signs of an unhealthy sex life that I think are really important. The first one is using sex out of obligation or guilt. What I mean by this is in our dating lives, we create this incredible momentum of affirmation and excitement and thrill, maybe even adventure. We can sometimes not be honest with what we want. We might hint at things or promise things that we really don't want to give. And in the sex moment, we might feel actually obligated to fulfill what we said we would, not because we want to, but because it was part of that momentous moment. When we do this, sex can actually feel really uncomfortable, and we might do things with our bodies we wish we hadn't. In order to avoid this, I recommend just being honest with your sexual partner from the very beginning. The things that you want to do and the things that you don't want to do should be clearly identified. The second sign of an unhealthy sex life might have nothing to do with sex and it's a very big cancerous problem in relationships and it's called resentment. The system that drives sex has two branches. The first takes us down into soothing so that we can pop up into climax and enjoy an orgasm. This system is called the autonomic nervous system and it also houses resentment, anger, frustration, trauma, anxiety, and aggression. So if there's resentment that has built up between the relationship, the body is not able to actually execute that tilted Z and instead the body just shoots straight up into anger, aggression, or anxiety. Resentment that is built up within the relationship will literally, physiologically, and neurologically keep the body from desiring sex or from being able to experience an orgasm. If there is resentment between you and your partner, I would recommend talking about how that resentment started to grow and what caused it to grow in the first place. It's really important to clean up that resentment by reaching relational repair in order to get your sex life back in working order. You know, sex is not a fix-it for relationships, but it will be hinged upon the way that you fix your relationships. Cleaning out resentment is a major way of getting your sex life back up online. The third sign that sex might be unhealthy is something I call the silent transaction. Oftentimes, having someone want us sexually can actually feel like long-term or stable belonging and acceptance. This might actually not be true, but in the moments when sex does feel like a deep sense of belonging, we can actually hand over emotionally our sense of belonging, security, and safety. Sex can leave one partner feeling overly needy and the other partner feeling incredibly overwhelmed by the neediness. Having a conversation before and after sex about not only the physical expectations of what will and will not be done, but also an emotional conversation about how the relationship can exist thereafter is going to be so important. Not only will it protect you as a sexual being, but it will protect this potentially new budding relationship. The fourth sign that sex might be a problem is if you're using sex as a self-esteem booster. You know, it's easy to post the most fabulous pictures we have on an app like Grindr or Scruff. And when someone whoops at us or pokes us or sends us a direct message or another picture in response, we tell ourselves that we are desired by them and that may in fact be true. But there's a secret process here where we can become reliant on the acceptance of others as a way of establishing our own self-esteem. And in fact, it's not really self-esteem we're establishing, it's something we call other esteeming. Other esteeming relies on others to believe that we're acceptable and good enough. In this context, when we become reliant on other esteeming, sex plays a major role in how we feel about ourselves. If others want us as a sexual being, we feel good enough. And if no one responds to our posts, we feel incredibly inadequate. So if sex is playing a role in your self-esteem, I'd really recommend maybe just hitting the pause or reshifting your focus so that sex and being acceptable as a sexual partner isn't the only access you have to self-esteem, but that you can begin finding it intrinsically versus in other people.